Check out these two images of Chile's Laguna San Rafael National Park, taken from space nearly 40 years apart. The first image was taken by ESA's Landsat 5 in 1987, and the second image was taken by Copernicus Sentinel 2 in 2024. We're looking at an area of around 20,000 square kilometers, and the most striking difference between the two images is the loss of ice in the glaciers that's been caused by global warming over the 37 years. Calving is the spectacular and often loud process where glaciers shed huge chunks of ice, typically where they terminate. The San Rafael Glacier that you can see terminating in the upper left of the image is one of the most actively carving glaciers in the world. The second largest glacier in the image is San Quentin, located just below San Rafael right here. In the 2024 image, you can see a lake has formed at the end of the glacier, where in the 1987 image, it terminated onto the land. In total, there are 28 exit glaciers from this huge ice field. Even though it's been greatly reduced over the years between the two photos, it's still the second largest continuous mass of ice in the world outside of the polar regions. Where is all the ice gone? Into the ocean. As more ice on land melts and runs into the ocean due to global warming, sea levels rise, bringing potentially devastating consequences. Missions like Landsat and now Copernicus Sentinel-2 allow us to make objective measurements of the loss of ice over the time and provide critical data on the effects of global warming. That's today's video. Don't forget to drop a like. I'll catch you in the next one.